Hi there. I'm going to give you a quick overview of how HDR rig works. Um, it's a small script I put together for quickly and easily adding HDRs to your scene. Uh, this mainly works with uh, Corona and Mental Ray. You could probably use it for a few other renders as well, but those are the two that I use the most. So um, it's mainly tuned to them. Now, before I get into the script, I want to show you the scene setup real quick. It's just a camera family of teapots and a ground plane. So nothing crazy, but just something to render. Now I don't have any lights or environment in my scene right now. As you can see, there's no environment map and um, Corona isn't using a separate one. So if I press render, actually nothing happens. Uh, well, I shouldn't say nothing happens. It's in there, but it's not lit. So we're not actually seeing anything. So that's where we um, bring in HDR rig to quickly add some HDR to our scene. How does it work? When you open the interface, um, looks fairly simple. Before I get into what everything does, um, we're just going to load in an HDR real quick and create the rig and you'll immediately see a bunch of things happening and it'll be easier to explain what it did behind the scenes. So I'm going to select an HDR map and I've got one on my desktop here. And with that loaded, I'm just going to create the rig. There we go. We instantly see that a few things in our scene have changed. One of them is the fact that the background has changed. So now the HDR has been loaded and it automatically shows it in the background view if enable viewport background preview is checked. Now, where did that HDR go? It went into our environment map. So it created a um, bitmap and here we are that's just the material from the scene and with the bitmap in there everything's in there so for now I haven't really saved you too many clicks um, but I'll show you real quick what else happened and it'll soon become clear why I created this the, the way I created this so what was added as well was an HDR skylight this skylight can be used for um, making the HDR actually work for lighting in Mental Ray or uh, in Corona's case, just giving a preview of what the HDR lighting looks like in your viewport, which is always, always nice. Um, another thing it does is actually link the output of the bitmap to the multiplier. So if I open my material settings again, move these over real quick, you can see that there's an output amount here, which will determine how bright the HDR is and how bright it will render. So if we change it here, you'll see that it changes both um, in the skylight itself and in the output amount. Now we can change it both here and in the skylight so you can do with it what you want. Um, it's linked via some parameter wires. Basic, but it works. Another thing it added was the HDR map offset. Um, to actually use this, you'll have to click select and manipulate. And what you can do now is turn the slider and it'll actually move over. Uh, this is based on, again, if we go to our materials, the offset in our bitmap. So you'll see that changing as well. You can change it in your bitmap too, and you'll see it update in your viewport. Now you might say, I don't really need any of that stuff. Um, so you can actually turn it off as well. I'm just going to reset my scene real quick um, just to show you what the other options do. Um, so first of all, we have the Create Skylight, which obviously will create the skylight. Um, if you turn it off, it won't actually create it. It will just create the map uh, instead and put it in the environment map slot. Then the intensity can still be adjusted. Um, as those two parameters were linked, it'll be changed in the environment map settings and the output settings. Uh, there's a flip horizontal and flip vertical option. I don't know if flip vertical is going to be useful, but it's in there. You never know. Um, and obviously some tiling options as well. If you've got a special case uh, where you need to change some of that. This all is reflected in the bitmap settings, of course. Then the rotation helper is the little thing we saw earlier. Um, in the down in the corner where you can rotate your uh, environment map with and then you can enable the background preview 
uh, by leaving this checked as well. I'm going to leave everything checked again, but this time I'm going to show you how the sun position works. So basically think of this as your top view and this line representing the uh, basically the offset for your HDR and your sun position will be about there. Now this obviously only works if um, the sun is positioned in the middle of the HDR file, which most of them are, so I don't really see any problems with that arising. Uh, again, I'm going to create the rig. There we go. And as you can see, our sun is now positioned roughly where we said it was going to be. So it's a nice way of doing it. Um, it doesn't update live yet. Maybe in the future if I find some time to do it. But for now, it's a really, really quick way just to set things up. Um, just to prove it to you, if I render now, everything will work just fine. Switch back to beauty. And there we go. Uh, same with our value here. If I select my skylight, crank that up to five, which is way too much, but just to show you that it works and the changes are reflected. All right. And that's it for HDR rig. Um, enjoy the script. Thanks for having a look at the video and until next time.